Hey, what's up guys? This is Dex and today I'm bringing you a commentated match video uh, for once. I'm probably not gonna do that very often on this channel, but um, I'll be commentating from time to time whenever I have things to say or things I want to share, my perspective on certain matchups. And uh, yeah, today I have a match where I, on the right, is playing Raw Paladins against Nova Grapplers. Uh, in my opinion, this matchup is pretty even. Uh, some would say that Royal Paladins have an advantage because they are Force, and Force, because of that extra 1k, has a natural advantage over Axel, Axel clans in general. But um, yeah, I can see, I can see the argument for it. But um, yeah, in my opinion, because the Royal Paladins are a pretty subpar clan for the moment. Um, I feel like Nova Grappler still has a really good chance to win. So yeah, in my opinion, it's pretty even. So yeah, here you see me start with the typical turn 2 Akane, Akane into Pongo play. Uh, obviously that's the ideal start for any Royal Paladins decks out there. And of course in this matchup you always want to start. Uh, but that's the general rule and standard format. You get your great trees first, get your markers first, and you and and this particular matchup, as you can see right now, you get that extra 1k first. So that means that uh, if clans like Nova Grapplers wants wants to rush you, they'll they'll have to either put a booster or counter the trigger. So here my opponent uh, plays his burst riser and hope of getting a trigger so that he can really push uh, the damage in. He does get it, he gets the draw, puts the power on uh, his burst riser, but I get the heal here. So unfortunately for him, uh, none of his attacks will go through. So that's what, that's what I was saying earlier, that extra 1k makes it so that he pretty much has to pass at this point because his burst riser is swinging for 19 on my 20 and his other column swings for 17 I believe so yeah that's that's the nature of this matchup right there obviously you can control it because it's trig trigger reliant and its variants but yeah unfortunately here you see me justice because I didn't have a, a Alfred in hand I do get a the, the Alfred so that's good for me and you'll see here that I, I'm debating on what exactly I want to get rid of for the Justice. And the reason for that is, uh, I believe that in this matchup, uh, retiring is, uh, is really, really important. So that's why you see me like put the two Blaster Blaze aside, because I figured that I might need them uh, later, or even right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, retiring like... Uh, Kagero. Kagero against Nova Grapplers is, is obviously in Kagero's favor, but uh, because of the retiring, because all they do is retire, uh, but uh, Raw Paladin can manage to retire with Blaster Blade. So that's why you saw me put the Blaster Blades on the side here and I decided to keep, keep them. And that's why here, instead of going into Alfred, I decided to just play the Blaster Blade and destroy one of his key units. Uh, I decide to snipe his Burst Riser because Burst Riser is really really troublesome especially on his grade 3 turns. Uh, that's basically two extra attacks for free or for one counter blast. So I decided to snipe his Burst Riser and hope that he doesn't have another one in hand. So here I swing for 38k no guards it, so I get the crit. Puts the power on Blaster Blade, he gets the draw. And the swing for another 38, I believe, because of the force marker. Yeah, 38k. And I believe he will guard it. So yeah, as I said earlier, um, in this matchup, I really feel like uh, 
dep obviously it depends on what how your opponent is playing and what he decides to put on his board but i believe that retiring with blaster blade is in term of counter ca counter blast usage priority i believe that retiring is the most important after that you can rely on your searches such as alfred surge or akane and lastly you have your draw engines like Marin or Allen. So if your opponent like doesn't overextend, you can just go search and push damage in. But if if he overextend like my opponent did uh, on turn two uh, right there, right here, snipe his uh, snipe his regards. Because as you can see, like now he played his perfect riser, had uh, his extra axel circle, put high powered custom on it on it. Uh, if I hadn't destroyed his burst riser, that would have been two extra attacks I had I'd, I'd had to do with this turn. So here he swings with his battle door for 17. Uh, decides to take it, and again I got a trigger on the defensive. Swings for swings for 31 on my blaster blade, and swings for 18. On my 23, counter blast two, stand two units. So here I was debating uh, whether or not I wanted to guard guard it. Uh, obviously, I can no guard for one to pass because I'm at 23 because of the crit trigger. But uh, I didn't. Uh, I think I didn't want to deal with the on the hit effect perfect riser has. The extra 5k would have uh, given to one of his unit and also the counter charge. So I think I, yeah, I'm debating right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to drop a 15k guard here just so that it doesn't pass. Alright, he did get the draw trigger. So he puts the power on his high powered custom. Another tip on this matchup is uh, to really uh, look at your end and look at how many counter blasts you can use the next turn. Because you don't want to take too many damage because one of the one of uh, Nova Grappler's main weakness is actually uh, his opponent getting defensive triggers. Getting defensive triggers pretty much uh, destroys Nova Grappler. So knowing that you want to uh, really control how many damage you take, but at the same time uh, control how many counter blasts you can use the next turn, because obviously you want to have effects, you have to use your cards the next turn. So here, as you can see, I took an extra one because I knew that I had uh, the Alfred I needed, I, need, uh, I wanted to do, so here you see me search for a, an extra blaster blade, and um, because his field uh, was not really threatening, I mean battle door only swings for 17, that's fine, high powered custom uh, is kind of annoying, but it's not the, the end of the world, it's only 19 and it, it's easily blockable, so I decided not to use the retiring, and instead I think I'm going to go for Marin play and get an extra card to draw. So yeah, like you really want to like look at your hand and see how many effects you can pull off the next turn that are actually useful that will that will actually actually be useful to you. And uh, at the same time, you want to control how many damage you take so that you have like damage leeway whenever uh, the Nova Grappler player goes for his final turn or big power play because Lorne knows how difficult it is to like tank a Nova Grappler with how when he has all his pieces in his hand or on the field right so so yeah I used Marin here drew my extra card 
got the extra 3k and now I'm swinging for 2d1. He's just asking me how big are my columns right now. But I believe he's gonna perfect guard this, yep. Perfect guard the off red. Twin drive reveals a pungle and a nakane. So no triggers that turn. Uh, and at that point I'm like, okay, if I don't get triggers uh, next turn, I might actually die. If he has the piece in it, the, all the pieces in his hand. So I go for his... Uh, Axel circle here, uh, trying to like s maybe slow him down the next turn, but at the same time, um, well, well, you'll see later. But uh, now here he's debating whether he wants to block it or not. Decides to drop a 15k shield, and yeah, as I was as I was gonna say, um, I do have the soul saver in hand, so I know that if he's at four or five damage uh, this turn, and he if he can kill me, assuming I don't die, um, I can actually kill him. So I decide to swing for 33 on his vanguard, hoping that he doesn't guard so that the next turn can be the final turn, right? So. Because really, a Soul Saver at 3 damage is really not that threatening. Yes, you do big numbers, but at the end of the day, if you don't get a, tri a crit trigger, it's 1 damage. So the, you can just call No Guard twice and Perfect Guard the last column. So here, he um, plays his Perfect Riser. He has the maximum Riser in hand, so that's a 32k uh, swing without a boost. But, like I said earlier, I'm at 3 damage now, so I still have 2 uh, damage I can take, and if I get triggers on those damage, that would be super easy to guard for me. So that's, that's, what, that's what I was saying earlier, that uh, you want damage leeway. Don't want to take too many damage because you want the chance to actually damage check a trigger. So here he swings with his, his battle door for 17 again, always the uh, the weakest attack first. Then he swings for 32, I don't guard it, because I don't think I have a heal in hand. Decides to take it, gets the draw trigger. So here we go. I draw another perfect guard, that's not that good, but the important part here is that I got the extra 10k I needed to survive. Right, swings for 18 again on my 23. Uh, again, I decide to drop one card for 2 to pass because I don't want him to get his effects off. Gets the crit, so good thing I, I actually guarded. He puts the crit on Maximum Riser and the power on High Powered Custom, which is a pretty good play here because that forces me to guard his Maximum Riser or else I die. But that also forces me to guard high powered custom because if I, if I don't guard high powered custom you can stand maximum riser again and swing for 32 again with a crit so really good distribution of effect and power on this part so swings for 32 with a critical trigger I'm pretty much obliged to to guard that because or else I die swings for 29 again I don't want to deal with another swing from Maximum Riser, so I have to guard this too. Puts a 15k da down. And lastly, swings for, I believe that's 17 plus uh, 11. So swings for 28 on my 23. Decides to take it because I know, I, I know I'm not dead and I know I can use those counter blasts. With my run on the field, that's an extra draw, so why not? So as I said, I had Soul Saver in hand, so play the Soul Saver, get the extra force marker. 
And here, um, all I had in my hand was uh, triggers. And I really didn't want my opponent to be able to guard my big columns because I had I only had triggers on my hand, uh, on the field. So what I did is play the trigger in front of Maron, used Maron effect to draw, drew Allen, played Allen, used Allen's effect to draw again. So now Allen is at 11, so it's it's basically like a uh, 11k beat stick, like a grade two, and Allen Allen. Use Alan's effect, played uh, my perfect guard so that I could draw, and that gave me finally the grade 2 I wanted. Uh, got Akane, so now I have pretty big columns. So, uh, so, so best 5, and everything get plus 15. So now I'm swinging for 51k and I think now he's just asking me how big are my columns and uh, yeah he's gonna be calculating for a bit because that's that's why like I feel like when I say like raw paladins are subpar it's because of that situation right there everything's going well um, but because Soul Saver is not a reliable finisher. Uh, things can go wrong at the end of the game like that uh, because it's only one damage. Be like he, he has like a lot of possibilities in his hand. He can, I believe, he has a perfect guard, and he has enough to guard uh, one column. Assuming I don't get a trigger, and if he gets a trigger, he's safe. So now he's just uh, he's just banking on me getting no crits and him getting. Or either him get him getting uh, a defensive trigger here. So cause no guard, I get the heal. Uh, so I got the trigger here. Put the power on Allen, and nothing. Fortunately for me, didn't get anything. So now I swing for 61, and my Allen column is swinging for 69. So he could have perfect blocked that column, but he doesn't have enough in it, in his hand to guard the 69 column so that's that was really fortunate for, for me but uh, it happened plenty of times to me that like so Saver just je gets guarded easily because he gets a trigger or a heal or a draw or whatever but he doesn't get it and I take the game so yeah that's it guys thanks for watching uh, like I said I don't think I'm gonna do that a whole lot but um, Whenever I have things to say, I'll be commentating. So, thanks for watching. See you guys later.